Thanks for joining us on American Medicine Today. I'm Kimberly Brumell, along with world-renowned orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Alfred Benatti of the Benatti Spine Institute. We have our good friend and, how do we say this? Are you chief, senior fellow? I, I, I I'd like to refer he, to he myself. Keep going up in some in appreciation. <laughs> he is now chief. chief I'd like fellow. to be referred to as the senior fellow at the Benatti Institute. Oh. That sounds very like How about, so prestigious. Like, it sounds like very Fox News. I love it. <laughs> I want to be a oh. talking head when I grow up. Fox. We could get you a bobble. <laughs> oh no, that, that would be cool. A bobble wax staff. I love it. A bobble wax. <laughs> my daughter would bobble be. Bobble wax staff. Oh my <laughs> Jenna would be so proud. That would be bad. We, okay, enough of this nonsense. We digress, and we also have Aaron Jacobson here. Um, now is the time for our favorite segment, and let's look at what's new in medicine today, featuring Alfred Benatti, MD. It's all you, sir. If you want to talk about more of Obamacare and all of its inadequacies. I don't want to talk about Obamacare. You don't? No. I what want do to talk, you want to I want to talk about something more more, okay. more constructive. <laughs> okay. Okay. Obamacare is depressing <laughs> and is bad for the nation. It is bad for everything. And I'm going to start to talk about politics and politicians, and you guys are going to kill me. So <laughs> let me go back to something better. Okay. The future of medicine. Oh, okay. Let me tell you one thing. You like your medicine today? Protect your doctor. You want to be treated in the future with a alternatives that they are unbelievable. Imagine that you can grow a new heart or imagine that you can grow a new limb mm -hmm. or imagine that you can have a new liver or a new kidney <coughs> and without using the 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 alternative that is a, a donation right. a donors so all this is in the pipeline in this wonderful country those are the ideas the concepts that they are coming for medicine so if we start to mess up this and follow obama all this is going to be moved to other countries. They're going to be in China. They're going to be in Russia. They're going to be probably in some of the European countries. How sad. We cannot allow that to happen. We develop. We create it. We put it together. Now, it's amazing that we are, we are discussing the stem cells. Okay? I know that... There are pros and cons and cons. I know that, for example, when you call the donation of the stem cell, and there are some some situations where they consider they need to be taken for from a fetus, and that is a situation that sometimes associated with abortions. And then you have the mess of the politicians in the middle. Mm -hmm. We need to go and be positive. We need to understand what is good for the future of the health of the individual. If you can go ahead and look that you can create a new heart and you can create the new heart with your own stem cells or with your mm -hmm. own a type of a, um, how can you say? Uh, um, DNA? Not the DNA, but um, how how is that the function like a, like a clone situation where the right. same fu has yeah. the same function cells. exactly yeah. you you can, you can create the clone situation and and, and the, the clone will create that that organ that you need right. if you have a failure in your kidney or you have a failure in your lungs or you have a failure in your heart, all these organs can be recreated today. Mm -hmm. and, and what we need to put is we need to get, excuse me again, but you need to get these politicians out of our way mm -hmm. and start to use common sense. And we need to get, the political system needs to disappear and we need to create advances, intelligent people, Mm -hmm. No more laws, 
No more situations that can stop our progress. We need to use our minds to do better things, to advance our, our, our medicine, to get better results for our patients. That is what we need to do. And the future of medicine is in our hands and it's in our behavior. So we need to control the sick political system so we can unleash these brains to do good things. And it sounds like politicians are just, you know, they're hesitant to make moves because they're scared of the backlash and what it will do to the political future and their political career. And I think that holds us back in medicine a lot. Exactly. And if you do something better, if you restrain these individuals no more than four years, an intelligent individual is going to occupy that position and is going to use his mind to advance this. Today, they cannot advance because they are playing games with abortion and with fetus and with and, and they are disturbing the normal progress of what is intelligent for the nation, for the patient and for medicine. So uh, I know there are certain restrictions. I know that we need to be moral, but at the same time, we don't need to be stupid. It's the future. Dr. Minotti, from what I understand, there are multiple ways to collect stem cells other than from an aborted fetus. How is it that our politicians have turned stem cell therapy mm -hmm. and the abortion issue so closely connected when, as you just stated, you can it, use your own stem cells to, for treatment? Exactly. The major problem with that is the politicians that they are sitting today in the government they are only looking for votes. And because they look for votes, they put A against B and B against C. And then what happened with that turmoil, they are being reelected because they create a constituency of individuals that are going to fight each other. And that is why we need to get term limits and individuals that they are intelligent to make progress not only in society, in medicine, in politics, in, 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 in business. And that's a look at what's new in medicine today with Alfred Benatti, MD. There you have it. Well, if anyone's suffering with neck, back, or sciatic pain, reach out to the Bonatti Spine Institute, 855-267-0482, or Bonatti.com. Make sure you tune in to WFTS ABC 28 to check out American Medicine Today on TV, and we'll see you next week at noon. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail. The Bonatti Spine Institute is proud to announce more than a 94% patient reported success rate in over 45,000 patent protected spine surgical procedures. Call us today at 855-267-0483 or visit us at bonatti.com. All my pain is gone, gone, gone. Today I am totally pain free, nothing, no after effect. I'm pain-free, and I have had to take any pain medication. Today I am pain-free for the first time in over a year, and it is so awesome. I only wish I'd known about it earlier. Right now, I am completely without pain. Sitting here in this office right now, pain-free, eager to enjoy the rest of my life. I am feeling great. I feel 100% better like a new person. Today I feel absolutely fantastic. It's just incredible the relief I feel right now. Today I'm completely pain free. During the procedure I literally felt the pain melt away. It was fantastic. I feel so, so good. It took care of my headaches instantly. It's incredible. It's really incredible. It gave me my life back. It's just wonderful. I feel fantastic. 
It is just absolutely amazing. So I'm hoping to be climbing hills in a few weeks. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Bonatti created, perfected, and patented the Bonatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Bonatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Bonatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Bonatti succeeds where others fail.